We're going to make some clarified butter. So what is that? That's the melting of the butter and using only the clear part, leaving the milk solids. Why? Say you want to saute, you want the butter flavor, but you don't want to get that, like that burning, that brown in the pan, and that's caused by the milk solids that are in there. If you clarify it, it's just like using olive oil, except it's a butter flavor, so it won't burn on you. You could do it two ways. You could put the, the butter directly over the flame, but then you have to watch it. The easiest way is to make a double boiler. And after all of this butter completely melts, then we'll finish it up. Well, let's see how it's going. As you can see, see? There's the clear part of the butter. It's not fully melted yet. But when you go like this, see all the milk that's in there? It takes a little while. Once this is done, fully melted, pour it into a plastic uh, container and you'll see the separation. Then we will skim off the good part and pour off the bad part. Just remember, wherever you don't want the butter to brown in any kind of recipe, you would use the clarified part. And this also is the beginning to make uh, hollandaise sauce, where you only use the clarified part of the butter. Well, two good examples if you plan on using butter to make a grilled cheese sandwich or French toast, and you want to have a nice light golden brown color, not with that dark brown, then you would use clarified butter. It's a little more work, but what we do is we take this, after it's separated, you leave it in a container in the refrigerator for as long as you want. And just take a little off each time you need it. Now I know somebody's going to send me a message, you can't leave it there forever. No. What I mean is it's for many weeks you'll have no problem. Maybe even longer. Okay, let's not prolong this adventure here. That's good. So it's fully melted. I'm going to pour this into this container. So I'll do this over the water in case I have a little spillage, which I probably won't. That's the container that the butter came out of. So now we'll just let this sit for about 15-20 minutes. All the milk will go down to the bottom and we'll see what we have. So what we have, as you can see, is the separation and a little foam at the top which will skim off because we don't need that and what you have left is the clear butter now we'll just take the clarified part and save it nice and clear and when you get down to the very bottom like I just did by accident some of the milk went in there so the rest I'm gonna skim out 